everyone, Ikuni here, and welcome back to Frightober! Ah, ah, ah. Frightober is the entire month of October where I post a video for a horror game, a psychological horror game, or a Halloween themed video game every single day. So, for all 31 days of October, you get 31 videos. If you do have a game suggestion for me to play for future Frightobers, or just to play in general, please make sure to let me know in the comments below. Today's video game, we actually get back to Cthulhu Saves the World. Um, it's a uh, break the fourth wall RPG. Cthulhu lost his powers and we are trying to help him get him back. And last time we actually got to the end of, um, or at least got to the save point to restore our MP in the Shrine of Heroes. So, let's see, Sharp was originally going to fly around in the air, but his sprite sliding around on his blade was just too funny, so he went with that instead. Okay. Ooh, giant sword. Um, oh, look at that huge sword. Wielding a sword that big proved everyone that I'm a true hero. I must have it. Cthulhu reaches for the sword, but before he touches it, the sword comes to life. Being of darkness, you dare to claim me? On guard! Sharp approaches. Round one begins. Monsters are at normal strength. Alright. So, um, let's start with flame strike and she will do sure let's do flood I don't even see how much health he has whoo over a thousand good to know let's see attack 78 28 flame strike seems to be the best right now <laughs> um let's see if siren's call will affect him and it does! Awesome! Let's see. Come on! Please! There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, please! Please don't uh, freeze, but no, my mouse just, for some reason, clicked off of it, so... Um... Let's see... Alright, Tempest. Um, yeah, we'll do Death Blow. Huzzah! All enemies have been defeated. And Cthulhu leveled up to level 12. Alright, max HP and vitality or MP and magic. Eh, let's go with that. Umi is now level 12. Uh, slow strike, lower speed 50, or one group. Um, let's do the group. Because I like having her do, um, AoE. Stop! Cthulhu is a good guy now. Not exactly a good guy, but I am trying to be a hero. Never mind the reason. Is this true? Cthulhu and Umi nod. Then I owe you an apology. Allow me to offer you my services. Cthulhu reaches for the giant sword, not as a weapon, as an ally. The master swordsman, I mean sword sword, Sharp, has joined your party. Yay, a new friend! Yes, more power! Let's celebrate by partying at the ca cafe back in town. An excellent idea, young lady. No need to backtrack through the dungeon, just open up the main menu and select Teleport to go back to any town or city that you have already visited. Well, I wanted to... Okay, there's no treasure on this side. And no treasure on this side. Sweet. Then... Teleport. Miskatonia. Yay! I can't remember where to go to, so let's talk to everyone again. Uh, in, maybe? <laughs> Ooh, 
wolf. <laughs> I love the innkeeper. Save. Sounds good. Mm. Okay. Wait, did I go upstairs? Yeah, I went upstairs. Because that girl was terrified of us. Alright. So, who was it that told us about the shrine? Creeper. Um, okay. Yes, praise me! I love this town! I'm sorry, Sharp. This cafe has a strict ban against sentient sword policy. But, but, party! Sorry! Tee hee hee! Now I have you all to myself. So tell me all about yourself. What kinds of foods do you like? Do you have any hobbies? Am I your type? Do you like rainbows? What do you do under the sea, Rely? Do you have a pet squid? Where's that barkeep? Cthulhu demands a big foamy mug of... Milk! Oh, did you say something? Pay attention when I'm speaking to you! Just then, a man bursts through the door. The city of Dunwich has been overrun by undead monsters. Are there any dudes bad enough here to rescue the city? Ha 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 ha! This is just the chance I've been waiting for. Surely saving our entire city would qualify me as a hero. But how did you get here? The bridge between Miskatonia and Dunwich has been broken for ages. I fixed it on my way here. To reach Dunwich, just head south. Please, noble squid base man, save our city. Consider it saved. Let's move out. Sounds good. Sharp has death blow as well. Sharp is faster than Mumi, good to know. Sounds good. Sharp is now level 11. Um, Brave Wind. Target self. All allies. It's it's really no issue. <laughs> Alright. Why can I not go through that tree? South. What south? Lobster rat. Um that looks more like a scorpion rat to me with the tail, but that's just me. Let's see. Um... Yay! I do apologize if I seem a little sleepy. I am uh, literally just woke up half an hour ago. <laughs> so. Um, tentacles. Flood. And spray wind. That works. I hope I'm still going the right way. Mm, magic, flood, magic, great wind. Okay. 
Cthulhu, Umi, and Sharp arrive at the city of Dunwich and discover that it is indeed infested with undead monsters as far as the eye can see. Let's kick some zombie butt! We can do this! Let's give these unholy monstrosities their just desserts! Let's go! Oh, please. A zombie is a noble creature, free of sanity, enjoying every whim that comes to it. Although, we may have to kill some zombies to free this town. I will not authorize killing any more than is needed. Do you hear me? Um, okay? Showing mercy even to monsters? Perhaps I misjudged you. I just like insane things. Is there a problem? Of course not. Onward, to save the city. And the zombies. All my games to date have featured zombies in a prominent role. There's Breath of Death 7 and Molly the Were of Vampire, both of which have zombies as playable characters or hybrid zombies in the case of Molly. There's Epiphany in Space, where one of the storylines focuses on a zombie-like race. And of course, there's this game where an entire dungeon is focused on zombies. What's next for Zayboid Games is another zombie game? Stay tuned! Yeah, yeah, it's, it's another zombie game. Oh. Mm, fat zombie and a zombie cup. Mm. Tentacles, magic, flood, magic, brave wind. Yeah. Ew, someone just puked on me. Um, more tentacles, ah, ah, ah. Um, blood again. And let's do it with that one. There we go. All enemies have been defeated. There's 29 battles in this town. Try to talk to the zombie, but it's having too much fun dancing and pays you no heed. Uh, okay. Hmm. Zombie and death leader. Boom. No, okay. Guess I gotta go into the house. Really, there's Seagull and Dead Dog. Alright, I apologize for being a little, uh, <laughs> quiet. Adventurers come to save us? Praise the heavens! You want to make your way to the eastern part of the city. That's where the creature that started this whole mess is. The creature that started this whole mess? Did you get a good look at it? It was an ugly monstrosity, very chaotic and crawling around. Nyarlathotep, my old nemesis. This should be a fun fight. I'm surprised I got something remotely close to what it said. Alright. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Cthulhu is now level 13. My random enemies or heals 50% of self. Uh, let's do the random enemies. Umi is now level 13. Stats up or yeah. Okay. Now, how the heck do I stop that battle?
magic. There we go. Sharp is now level 12. Strength and agility, strength and vitality. Yeah, let's keep them fast. I don't know. Ah. Tentacles. Blood. Tempest. I mean, can I just get in the car? How the heck? <sighs> Do I literally have to fight off every single enemy? Magic. Blood. see. I mean, I can only think of leaving and then I'm going to try going around to the other side of the city. Um, let's do tentacles on this one. Magic flood, magic temples. end this here then uh, and before next episode I'm going to fight all of my battles in the town in Dunwich um, and see if that ow that was loud and see if that helps or not so I want to thank you all for joining me please leave a like rating and or a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos this is Akudia Tori, signing off. Until next time, my lovelies. Mm -hmm.